customary units of length. The big idea that you need to know is that we can use benchmarks to help you estimate or choose the best unit of, of customary length. We have four customary units that we need to know, so let's talk about the benchmarks for each one that you can use anytime you need to estimate. An inch, I've drawn exactly an inch here with this black line, but on your own body, um, uh, you might find that some part of your thumb is an inch. For me, an inch is from the very tip of my finger to my first knuckle. You might want to measure it to see where an inch falls on your thumb. A foot, for me, here's the um, length of a, the, a real, an actual foot, and we also know that a foot is the length of one of our classroom rulers. But um, I have found that a foot, for me, is the length from here, the, my knuckles, all the way to my elbow. And you can see that one foot is about the length from my knuckles to my elbow. So you want to do the same thing on your arm and find out where. It might be all the way to your fingertips. A yard on an adult is generally from one shoulder to the opposite fingertips. And you need to keep it a yard, and I couldn't draw a yard because a yard is actually longer than this board. But you need to keep in mind that the um, meter sticks that we have are a little bit longer than a yard. And to get to exactly a yard, you want to stop at 36 inches. So for me, if I put the 36 on my shoulder, that's almost to my fingertips. From my um, One yard is about from my shoulder to my fingertips. And then one mile. You might think about what you have had to run in gym before, but you, if you've also been to like a high school um, stadium where there's a football field and then a track around the outside, generally one mile is four times around the track. So let's do some examples of choosing the best unit of customary length measurement. If you wanted to measure the length of your classroom, it wouldn't make sense, of course, to measure in miles because it's too big. So let's go to the next biggest one, yards. Well, you could definitely put the yardstick down several, uh, many times in the classroom, actually. So yards is the best unit of measurement to measure the length of your classroom. If you wanted to measure the distance from RS Payne to the mall, let's start with the biggest one. Would it make sense that it would be miles away from school to the mall? Well, yes. So um, miles makes the most sense. If we had to measure in yards, we would wear ourselves out trying to count exactly how many yards that is. Way too many. And then if you wanted to measure the length of a crayon, miles is too big, yards is too big, a foot is also bigger than a crayon. So the best unit of measurement, the biggest one that we can use that makes sense is an inch. We would use an inch to measure a, um, the length of a crayon. And of course, because I have a song for everything, I have a song for this. And I use my body to remind me of the, as the benchmarks um, for each of these units. So it goes like this. Inch, because you're showing your thumb. Foot, you're going to show this distance on your um, arm. Yard, and mile, because we're running the mile. It goes like this. Inch, foot, yard, and mile. Inch, foot, Yard and mile, inch, foot, yard and mile are the customary units. Next, let's talk about how customary units are related. We have to know how we can go back and forth from one unit to the other. So, there are 12 inches in one foot, or if you have a regular classroom ruler, there are 12 inches in this. If you need a picture to remember, you might think about a foot with 12 inch worms going across it. I have 12 worms there. There are three feet in one yard, so it takes three of these to make one yardstick. Okay? And if you need a picture, you could picture three feet standing in the grass or the yard. For 36 inches, to, for inches to yards, 36 inches equals one yard. And that makes sense if you think about the number of feet in a yard. And then we know that each of these feet, because we learned it over here, is 12 inches. 12, 12, and 12. 12 times 3 is 36 inches. And finally, there are 5,280 feet in one mile. And I have to think of a song. Every single time I have to answer that question, I think of this song. It might sound familiar to you. 5,280 feet in a mile. 5,280 feet in a mile. 
And I learned that there's one more that we need to know. We need to know how many yards are in one mile. And so I wrote a little rhyme. You might be able to think of one that's better than mine, but here's what I'm gonna use to remember how many yards are in a mile. 1760 yards in a mile. Come with me, it's gonna take a while. So these two rhymes or songs I hope will help you remember, and the pictures also help you remember how the units are related. So now let's use those relationships to find equivalent measurements between units. If you have to figure out how many feet are in five yards, the best thing to do is to draw a picture. I always think that drawing a model is going to help you the best. So I have here drawn five feet, one, two, three, four, five, just a line to rip with five lines uh, marking it off. And then I'm going to think about, well, what do I know about each of these yards? Well, every single one of those yards is made up of three feet, three feet, three feet, three feet, three feet. And then it's easy for me to see that I need to multiply. Those five yards times three feet in each is going to give me 15 feet is equal to five yards. Next, if I think about 60 inches, figuring out how many feet that is, I want to start off and think, well, I know how inches and feet are related. There are 12 inches and a foot. So I'm going to think about, all right, there's 12. That would be one foot. A another 12 would be 24 inches or two feet. Another 12 would be 36 inches or three feet. Another 12 is 48. This is the total each time, not 48 right here, but 48 when you add all these up. And then 12 more to that is 60 inches. So it would be 60 inches to here. So then I can count the number of feet. One, two, three, four, five. There are five feet. And the problem that I was really doing to solve that was to take my 60 inches and divide it by the 12 inches in each foot and get 5 feet as my total. If I needed to know exactly how many feet were in 3 miles, I would sort of do the same thing I did up here in the first problem. I would draw a line and divide it into 3 sections and then write how I know feet and miles are related. In 1 mile there are 5,280 feet in a mile, 5,280 feet in a mile. So in each, on all of these, there would be 5,280. And then, so I could add this plus this plus this, or I could multiply by three, whichever I like. And the answer would be 15,840 feet. That's the total feet in three miles, 15,840. And last, if I had to go from in 108 inches to how many yards that is, I would again think about how do I know inches and yards are related? Well, I know that there are 36 inches in one yard, so I'm going to mark off groups of 36. So the first yard would be 36 inches, the second yard would be 72 inches, and three yards, so I just added 36 plus 36 to get 72. 72 plus 36 would be 108. And then I can count one, two, three yards in 108 inches. And the problem that I was really doing is dividing the 180, 108 inches into groups of 36. And there were three groups of 36 inches in 108, um, in 108 inches. I think I said yards a second ago. There are 108 yards divided into 108 inches that I divided into groups of 36 inches, making three yards. The biggest thing that you need to remember gets all confusing if you try to think, do I multiply, do I divide? If you will draw yourself a model, it'll be more clear which um, operation to use. So make sure that you um, draw a model when converting between units.